Oh no, my DOE data is in Excel, but I want to analyze it in Minitab. Can I do that? Yes, you can. That's what we are going to learn to do in this video. In Minitab, it is called Define Custom Factorial Design. This video is brought to you by Process Excellence and is a series of videos to help you learn and use Minitab in your work. The first thing you need to do is open your Excel file. You will need to copy this information over. However, Minitab requires that the information be in columns and not in rows. To do that, you can simply select the data and copy it by either Control C or right click and hit copy. Then open up a new spreadsheet, go to your new spreadsheet, right click, come down here to this symbol which is the transpose symbol, and as you will see, your rows are now columns and your columns are now rows. If you have columns labeled original order, standard order, run order, center point, or block, you do not need to worry about copying these. Copy the information where your factors and your outputs are. Here we have five factors that we're looking at. Melt temp, mold temp, cooling time, hold pressure, injection velocity, and our output is the cycle time. Go ahead and copy this information and open up Minitab. Select the cell right under C1 and paste your information here. You won't be able to analyze the DOE just yet. You need to define it. And to do that, you go up here to the Stat tab, select DOE, Factorial, and then Define Custom Factorial Design. First, it will ask you to identify all of your factors. You can select them by double-clicking or highlighting and then hitting the Select button. Make sure that it's just factors in this one and that you do not choose any of your outputs. After your factors are in here, you will need to hit Low High button here. Check and make sure that this, these are the right factors and that the correct low and high for each factor has been chosen. Then hit OK. Then hit OK again. You will see that Minitab has put in four new columns, standard order, run order, blocks, and center point. These columns are used by Minitab to analyze the DOE. However, before we can move on to analyzing, we need to do one more thing. Determine if your DOE has a center point. You can do this by checking to see how many rows you have. If you have an odd number of rows, such as we do here, that means that you will have a center point. Scanning through your information, you'll look for, in the factor columns, for a point that is in between your high and your low. For us, column 9, as you can see, the factors are halfway between the highs and the lows. Cooling time, is 10, which is halfway between the 14, which is our high, and 6, which is our low. This is the same for all of our other factors. Since this is our center point, we need to come over here to the center point column, and where it says 1, we need to put that in as a 0. This makes it so Minitab can now analyze your DOE. If you don't have a center point, you do not need to do this step, and you can skip it. This DOE is now ready to be analyzed, and that will be discussed in a future video. We have shown how to define a custom DOE in Minitab from Excel data. This has been a Minitab tutorial presented by the Process Excellence Department. We hope that you have found this information useful.